Hello friends, this is Ralph and in today's video I'm connecting the world of artificial intelligence to the Behringer 2600, so stay tuned. Artificial intelligence seems to be the flavor of the day and the entire internet is talking about artificial intelligence. So I thought, let's use artificial intelligence and make it play with the Behringer 2600. Hi there, my name is Ralf Baumgartel and I'm making videos about electronic music and the Behringer 2600. If that is something that interests you, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some of my videos. And now back to artificial intelligence. For this video, I'm using Magenta Studio, free software that was developed by Google Research. Magenta Studio is using artificial intelligence to generate musical patterns and rhythms which can then be played through the Behringer 2600 or another synthesizer. And this process helps you to come up with some pretty amazing results. Whether you are new to the world of synthesizers and music production or you are an experienced user who just needs a creative boost, this process might be worth checking out. Since we are using a digital audio workstation, a DAW, in this video I quickly want to mention that you need a DAW that can send MIDI data out. I am using Logic Pro on a Macintosh computer, but the process can also be applied to other digital audio workstations on other operating systems. And now, without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. All right, friends, the first thing we are going to do is that we visit the Magenta Studio website. For this, we go to magenta.tensorflow.org. I put the link to this website into the video description. So, and here you can already read, make music and art using machine learning. So let's click now on Studio, which brings us to the Magenta Studio webpage. We have two versions of Magenta Studio, an Ableton Live plugin version and a standalone version. Since I am here on a Mac computer running Logic Pro, I have to go for the standalone version. Anyway, let me give you a brief overview of what Magenta Studio is. Magenta Studio is free music software developed by Google that uses machine learning to help users to create and experiment with music. And now that's very important, it can be downloaded and used at no cost. It includes five individual apps, Continue, Generate, Drumify, Interpolate and Groove. These tools allow users to generate original melodies, create drum beats and edit melodies, among other things. In my personal opinion, Magenta Studio is a pretty nice tool for both experienced users and also for beginners. Okay, here you can scroll down and read a bit about the software. And now I click here on standalone applications, which brings us to the download links for Mac OS and for Windows. Anyway, here you have a table of contents, overview, installation, usage, a lot of descriptions and explanations. Once you are there, you can read everything for yourself and familiarize yourself with the software. Okay, anyway, I click here now on the download for Mac OS button, which downloads a zip file. Okay, after we have unzipped the file, we have a folder here, that one, Magenta Studio. When we click on the folder, we see all the five apps which are included in the Magenta Studio. Okay, for the sake of this tutorial and also for the sake of simplicity, we are going to use Generate. So I open the app and here it is. 
we have to choose an output folder here. I already created a folder, which is empty at the moment. It's called MIDI. And we make it the output folder. So the reason why I am using generate is because generate doesn't require an input file. And it is using something called a uh, variational autoencoder, which has been trained on millions of melodies and rhythms to learn a summarized representation of musical qualities. I have taken this sentence from the website. If you want to learn more about variational autoencoder, that system, the AI engine behind Magenta Studio, then please go to the Magenta Studio website and read about it. Okay, we are clicking here now on Melody and then we click on Generate. Variations means it comes up with eight variations and the temperature, this is something like creating the randomness. I don't want to crank it up too much because then the melody becomes a little bit too chaotic. Okay, anyway, um, I click generate. And when we open the MIDI folder here, we have eight files. And these files will be imported into Logic. Generate doesn't create any sounds. So in order to hear the MIDI files, they have to be imported into a DAW. In my case, I'm using a Logic Pro and, um, okay, if you're on a PC, you can use something like Ableton Live. It's important that you're using a DAW that can send MIDI data out. That's important because we are going to use these MIDI files on the Behringer 2600. All right, we are looking here now at Logic Pro. I have created a software instrument here on a track. And now I'm going to import the MIDI files, which were created by a generate. So I take the first file and drag it here onto the timeline. I'm not going to import the tempo information that is included in the MIDI file. Okay, all MIDI files have been imported into Logic now. And now let's hear what these MIDI files sound like played through the software synthesizer here in Logic. That one looks really interesting. All right, so the next step is that we connect the Behringer 2600 to Logic Pro, and then we will play some of these MIDI files through the Behringer 2600. Okay. In this step now, we are going to connect the Behringer 2600 Gray Mini to Logic Pro via USB MIDI. I have set the MIDI channel on the Gray Mini to MIDI channel number one. So here in Logic, we have the software synthesizer that we have created in the previous step and all the MIDI patterns that were created by Magenta Studio Generate. Since we are not playing the software synthesizer, I'm going to mute this track. And now I'm going to create an external MIDI track here in Logic. You see as MIDI destination, I have selected Gray Mini and MIDI channel number one. Okay, let's create this track and let's rename this to Gray Mini. And move it above the software synthesizer. So when I press here now the key on the software keyboard, you hear the Gray Mini playing. 
So let me switch over to the gray mini for a moment. Let's switch back to Logic. And you may wonder why the name Gray Mini was already in there. I have created here in the MIDI studio of the Macintosh operating system a MIDI device which I called Gray Mini. And when I double click on it, you see here that it's set to MIDI channel number one. Okay, let me close this. Then we select all the MIDI patterns which were created in Generate, copy them and paste them into the Gray Mini track. So, and now let's listen to the Gray Mini playing these MIDI patterns. <laughs> Now I have listened to all the MIDI patterns and I'm now going to uh, select the patterns I like most, combine them with some drums from Logic and probably play some pads on the JDXI. Alright, that's it for today. Please let me know in the comment section whether my video sparked your interest in checking out AI music software for yourself and connecting it to your Behringer 2600 or another analog synthesizer. Kindly write a comment and let me know what kind of results you came up with. And now, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you again in my next video. Until then, take care, stay safe, peace. <laughs>